about human rights violations across China and concerns about the international traffic continues to pandemic. Uh, integrity system is the most advanced. You can ask the guys that built the DRX hurricane and knocked us down. And when we got up, the coal came on and just knocked us flat on our back. What's up, off grid homesteaders and survival preppers and everyone else in between? Got this cool little project on the go here. Check it out. So this here was my uh, my fishing shack that I built years ago. I think I used it once when I lived on a lake. And uh, it's pretty awesome. I put the steel on. I was doing a mine job. And we were uh, building a steel building. Had a gold mine. There was all the steel left over. And they are going to throw it out. And I said, hey, can I take that? So I took it. But now, and it is nicely, it is pretty well done. Like, it's, it's not bad. But I'm thinking I could turn this into another kind of multi like a better a better shock and not that i'm going to make it perfect but i mean the shells here it's all good it's got insulation in it it was used as my garbage my bear proof garbage shock you can tell the insulation foam board got wet in there um which is kind of nasty but i'm gonna to have to sh i'll sheet all that in um anyway i just think it'd be a more useful shock than what it is right now so I'm going to uh, strip all this stuff off of it, see what I got. Look at Elmer. <laughs> Elmer, what you doing? What you doing? We're going to see if we can strip this off and uh, make ourselves some, something nicer. Get the sheet metal off of here and see if we can't uh, make it looking good. See my jacket? Canada. Representing. Oh, yeah. Next day on the build, folks. Got up feeling good. It was minus 30 this morning, and I was like... Ah, uh, I don't think my generator's gonna start. Uh, I don't think my hands are gonna work. So I was like, no, I'm not doing it. So I'm hanging out with these two goofballs. I got Everest. This is Elmer's girlfriend. You've seen in other videos. They just had a litter of puppies, well, a while ago. And uh, they're doing awesome. They're hanging out today. She's bugging them lots, which I like. Because Elmer doesn't get to uh, hang out with many other dogs. Neither does Everest. She's a farm dog, so she's out 24-7. And uh, Elmer's definitely not. He's a spoiled baby. Um, but she comes down and hangs out with us every day. And I just love her. She's part of my little, part of our little tribe down here, our little pack. I just love her. Um, anyway, here's where we're. That's what I got done last night in a couple hours. So I stripped the steel off this sucker. A little bit of the stuff got to see what was underneath. I sheeted in the inside with some OSB, trimmed it with two by twos, and now I got my uh, ridge board up, and I'm ready to start making some trusses. Sorry, Everest. Start making some trusses. It wasn't in that bad of shape. It's got some discoloration on it. Probably from a bit of moisture getting in or bug poo and stuff like that. And uh, But yeah, still a wicked structure. Got her on these old downhill skis. I got it the, the Salvation Army. They're ready to rock. These old Rossies down here. I'm going to put a pull cord on it. This thing's going to be dramatically heavier than it was before. But uh, that's okay. This is going to be awesome for like a generator shack. Or even to put my chicken feed in. You know, in the springtime. So I'm not attracting bear. Either way. When you're homesteading, you can't have enough outbuildings. You can't have enough storage for stuff. Anywho, I'm going to get back on this. I'll show you the progression in a few hours. My hand's cold. Okay, bye. Happy snowy Saturday, everybody. It's uh, off-grid living and survival prep here with David Knoll inside the uh, inside the old shack here today. It's snowing like crazy. It's been, uh, it was minus 44 when I woke up today with the wind chill. But I went to town, got some supplies, came home. Um, and now I'm ready to uh, keep working on my sauna. I'm going to get my sauna crack a -lack and Let's have a look-see. Look at this guy, my little snowball. Say hey, hi, Elmer. Oh yeah. So here it is, I got it all, uh, it's all framed up. I got the roof done. I got all my sheeting cut this week in between the cold snaps. So I gotta just screw it on. I've got my roof steel cut over there. I've gotta throw it on the roof. And then uh, that'll be about as far as I get today. It's already 2.30. I've only got about three hours left of daylight. Um, so, But I wanna get in there. I wanna get in there and have a sauna. Been an extremely long week. Haven't slept a whole lot, a lot of call-ins for work and stuff. So I've been, uh, you know, up for like 40 hours. I got a bit of sleep last night, but I think if I can get in here tonight and get it fired up somewhat, I'm not gonna trim it or anything. I'm just gonna do the sheeting in the roof and then that's gonna be it for until the weather breaks a little bit here and then I'll silicone all the joints really well and trim it up. Um, but yeah, I wanna get in here. So let's get cracking. I can't leave my phone outside or it's gonna get destroyed. So uh, I'm just gonna get going on this and then I'll show you how far I get today. Okay. Alright guys and gals, I've done the work on this baby, the trooper, he's been out here for a little while, his girlfriend Everest was just here, but check it out. So I got the sauna boxed in, took a few hours, but having that wood cut really helped a lot. 
So I got her boxed in. This isn't the door I'm going to keep on it. I'm going to build a new door. This was from, this was what was on it before. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that. But I got the brown steel on the top of her. And she's boxed in. I still have to go up under and, you know, do the soffits and stuff. Like the fascia down in under there. I guess that's the soffit right there. It's good. So yeah, it's all in. I got to trim it. There's still lots to do on it. But I got the little ridge cap on. Pine ridge cap. Check it out inside. I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing here. So here's my fancy door lock for tonight. But here's my setup. So I have a little thermometer up here. And I think that's saying, what is it? Minus 10? Or something? Minus 10? So yeah, I still have these big gaps. Lots of ventilation. And I will cut a vent hole in here. And eventually cedar this in. Um, but for now, I'm just going to try it like this. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh, that glue's going to kill you. We've had ice shacks up to 50 degrees inside with the wood stove and we're all still living. So I'm going to try this tonight. I've got my propane heater set up here. So this Coleman stove. And I'm going to set this roast pan with some rocks that I stole out of my mom's garden. Sorry, mom. And we're going to set that on top. So I'm going to see, I know you have to be careful because these rocks can explode. I've done this in fires before where I'm making, uh, I'm cooking on rocks or heating up rocks to put in my, uh, my tent with me and they will explode. These are bedrock, but they all, uh, they're granite, but they all explode. So I have the lid on all that jazz. So I'm going to heat this up and see if we can't get uh, those rocks nice and cooking and then throw some water on and see if we can make steam. It's just a little bit of a hillbilly project, but if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I have a really nice utility shed or a generator shed. So yeah, check it out. She's full on white out here tonight. Oh, I just fell in the hole, Elmer Doug. So yeah, there's the little, uh, the little sauna. I'll get a fire. I'll get it fired up and uh, fill you in. I'll turn the camera back on in a minute. I'm pros. So I got it fired up. Let me show you. I got it fired up. She's rocking pretty full pin there. I don't think it'll take her on long with that amount of direct heat. Look at the steam already billowing out of there. I don't think it's going to take long, but I want those rocks to uh, to get hot. And I want to see what they do. They might blow apart and pop the lid off that, which is what I want to try. But these Coleman stoves are really great because they're super safe. They've got the heat shields on the sides. They've got a heat shield on the back. And if something did happen, I had to shut it off. I just come in and bam, bam, shut off that feed. And that'll kill it. You just got to make sure you screw those bottles in tight. But like I said, there's a ton of ventilation in here. And... Uh, We'll just, I'm gonna shut the door and just see kind of how this does for a second. So here we are in the hillbilly steam room, folks. Got the pot's been on here about 15 minutes. The temperatures went up to minus five and the door's wide open. It's the only way I can film this. Don't be looking under my towel now. Nasties. So let's see if it works, man. I can hear, I haven't opened it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh. Feel the steam on that! Woohoo! The rocks are nice and warm. Let's put some water on her. <laughs> this is awesome! Oh, this is so amazing. I can't believe it works. It's heating everything up really nicely. And I mean, I still have like so many open holes in here. Once I fill this thing in and get it all tuckered down, it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Hillbilly steam room. So here we have it, folks. It seems to work. Everything's working good for now. Um, really super happy with it. And I think that uh, I can give this one two thumbs up. Boop, boop, boop. This is absolutely awesome. I can't believe it's working so well. I'm gonna let it heat up a bit more and uh, shut the door. And what I'm gonna do is get some eucalyptus oil and put it in my water. And then when I pour it on, I get like that nice eucalyptus steam going in here. It's like a resort, hot five star, five star steam room. Oh, look at it. Ooh! I can come in here and bath now, shower. 
Oh, I just love this. <laughs> I hope you like the video. It's turning out really awesome. Wherever you are, I know we all get a little bit cabin feverish and a little bit shack happy this time of year, but if you can get yourself a little dumb project going like I do all the time, then it'll keep you busy and keep you uh, keep your mind happy. I know I was getting a little down there for a while, man. It was just coming home in the dark, going to work in the dark. All life's normal stuff, but on top of that, it's a long old haul, you know, but yeah. Hope you can get out and make some projects. So just so you know, it works. Got a nice old roaster. Couple little rocks in there. Get them nice and hot. Throw that water on or a bit of snow. Snow might work better actually, because it might just evaporate right away off those rocks, might steam. But I'm gonna experiment with it. And, uh, but for now, like just a nice little thing to come out and do uh, when it's minus 30 or 40 and just chill out. Just really nice. So I hope you're doing great wherever you are, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, please subscribe to see more uh, cool content. And yeah, just a nice thing. But one thing is when you're homesteading, man, and I do traditional homesteading, so I've got an off-gridding, so I don't have any amenities. Like, I got nothing. I got no red water, no hydro, no nothing. I got a little 40-watt panel to charge my phone, and that's it. Um, so when I have little things like this, little minor successes, it's huge because keeping clean is so important and it is hard to do in this weather. Like I'll, I'll heat water up on the stove and bring it out and shower outside. But when it's minus 44, like it was today or minus 30, it's just too much. It's too much of a shock to the body. But to heat this thing up with a couple dollars worth of propane and, you know, come out and have a nice steam in here and just, you know, relax and have a wash. And it's, it's a real win for, uh, a greasy old homesteader like me so i hope you're enjoying the weather wherever you are and the steam love you lots bye for now concerns about human rights violations across china and concerns about the Integrity system is the most advanced. And you can ask the guys that built the DRS. Hurricane Ian knocked us down, and when we got up, the coal came down and just knocked us flat on our backs.